Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Murder at First Sight All-Star panel. I'm Glenn from Jack and Glenn, and the crew is all back together again. The gang is back together again. What's going on, lovely people? And we're here to talk about Married at First Sight, this reunion, this this scam of a show, this this thing that, uh, as I said, they, they lied to us. We've been, we've been bamboozled. We've been hoodwinked. We've been run amok. <laughs> we, we've been led astray. All those things we have been... But before we even get to Married at First Sight, people, how y'all doing? I'm going to start with the lady in the room. We ain't seen Miss Talisa been on vacation, been chilling. Miss Talisa, what's going on? How are you doing? What's going on, family? What's going on? I know I've been MIA, but y'all are always in my heart, in my mind, and in my spirit. I always think of y'all when Sunday rolls around and I'm all like, oh, shoot, I ain't going to be able to do it this week. Oh, <laughs> shoot, I'm gone this week. Oh, I can't do it next week because of AAU. Know that I'm with y'all in spirit. So, you know. It's good to see yeah. you both. It's good to see you both. I feel you, man. I mean, mm-hmm. man, Tommy. And as the people always say online, Tommy got a snack Sunday afternoon snack. Yeah. Tommy, <laughs> what we snack? What we snacking on today? Hey, I got I got some Doritos and uh, some fruity pepper. I don't know what it is with cereal, but I only eat cereal now as like snacks. And the fruity pebbles got the crunch, so they're bigger. So I just mm-hmm. be you know eating on. You got those. it mixed together. No, nah, like oh. I ate those first, and then oh. now I got the Doritos, so okay. and some water. I do have snacks all the time, man. Mm. Go get your snack sponsor. Shoot. Wouldn't that be nice? That wouldn't it? And it, and it it has to be good because I like food. So anyway, Talisa, we missed you, man. I, 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 you know what? It's wonderful to be missed because don't mm-hmm. don't nobody be thinking about me. My own kids don't even be thinking about me. I be gone on vacation or whatever for a week. I have to track them down. Like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Y'all all right? Like, they ain't thinking about me. So it's nice to be missed. Yeah. It's nice yeah. to be missed. Definitely that, man. We're going to get into this craziness called Married at First Sight. Uh, man, if you're just catching up, this reunion was a... Um, it was interesting. It was one for the ages, right? It was one for. It was definitely one for the ages. This is uh, crazy because we saw, as Kevin Frazier even opened up, we saw the men on one side minus Chloe. And then we saw the women on one side, and you had, you know, what's his name, uh, Orion on the side with the women, which kind of matched up anyway. But either way, <laughs> you had uh, had them on that side, and look, all the girls said they they wearing pink because of their solidarity and what they went through, and they taking back and they fighting and. All this, all this other, they made a narrative out of the show. I, I'm going to leave it like that. They made a narrative out of what was going on, made a narrative out of the show. Uh, but we get in, let's get into this thing. Man, y'all thoughts just opening up on the reunion. Before we even get to the reunion, your thoughts on the season that you watched so far. Oh, hi, Quad. Um, so, I, you know, I, I wasn't fully invested as, you know, you know, how I do. It seems like that's my. <laughs> that's my normal now my go-to now as soon as soon as it started looking crazy i'm no longer as invested as i was as soon as it seems like a little janky um i feel like though they this season has so we've been seeing a, de- a, a downward decline throughout the few last few seasons and this one is this one is i mean when you have no one saying yes when you have nobody saying yes to marriage um that speaks values right um, so what do you, where do you go from here? What do you do next? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I was, I was hopeful. I know y'all going to do it again next season. I'm going to do, I'm going to do it right with y'all. <laughs> you sound like Artika. <laughs> well, you know, that's my girl. Okay. We Kendra spirits me and Artika. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hey, Tommy, your, your thoughts on the season before we get into the whole reunion situation? So this season, I wrote in my notes. Um, the kids, I guess the kids smelled the chips. I don't know what happened there. I thought it was they smelled you was on live. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's go. Um, so <laughs> in my notes, I said this season was BS. And that's that's like that's my remarks on the season man it, like i i get because i liked the idea mm-hmm. so much right it's like it has to work 
if you do it, okay, you just went to white noise. It just oh, did it? there you go. You back. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you if you do everything that you're supposed to do, it should, you know, in turn be correct. You know, you, you should be able to say yes and you being honest and everything like that. But then you get on here and everything is a you know, is made up. Right. So that, I, that's why this season for me was just like, yeah, y'all are ruining this show. It's terrible. Yeah, let's, you, you know, you, you alluded to it. Let's get there. Well, we find out on this reunion that as Brennan was spilling the beans, Brennan said that the, everyone has gotten together, that the band gotten together, the whole group gotten together, minus Chloe and Michael, because they wasn't there yet, got together and they wanted to talk about how they want to be seen. They wanted to tell their own stories and not let the producers tell their stories. Uh, they wanted to show their what they wanted to show on camera and not be forced to talk about certain issues or certain things. Um, Talisa, your thoughts, when you heard that from Brennan, I was shocked because I'm like, you got everybody to agree to this, but your thoughts. I, I agree. So for when the when they first came on and I saw the separation, I thought, oh wow, this is messy. This is this is different. This looks like a housewife reunion. Like it felt very, very messy, very um probably like, oh, this is gonna be toxic, but it's gonna be good because I'm here for y'all shenanigans because it's not my life is yours. Um and um I couldn't believe it one person could get everybody on board to change like the perception or the as um what's her face would say all the time what's her name with the pink hair optics what's her name uh, the pink becca. Hair? Becca. becca thank you thank you see see what i'm saying you don't watch and then you'd you be like what's their names again anyway I couldn't believe that they could all be on board to follow someone's narrative. There's no way that you're going to have me be able to be like, yeah, so we're just going to pretend. No, you're going to get me. This is who I am. You're going to get me. I'm not going to be one way on camera and then off on the, uh, you know, outside of the camera for the look of everything. So that was, that was disappointing to say the least. Like the point of us watching it is for the experiment itself. It's for us to see how you navigate real life um, with someone matching you up with a stranger. Not for you to be like, so when we're on camera, this is how we're going to act or we're going to both say we want a divorce at the same time. None of that is what this show is about. So you ruin it for all of us. The, the premise of the show, we like to see people make it, like real people and how they navigate this stressful environment. Like, I, I think that's unfair. Tommy. So I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't hear the question in the beginning. I'm gonna catch. <laughs> I'm gonna just no, piggyback. Your thoughts, on, your, thoughts on Brennan, your thoughts on Brennan uh, getting everybody. Well, I'm gonna say Brennan because I think Brennan was the ringleader. But I think I think it was Brennan's yeah. idea but Cameron delivered the message. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna I'm I'm surprised that the women all jumped on board. Like it like that was the confusing part, and they're like pointing their finger at oh the men did this, the men was out for us, and blah this, blah that. But y'all can stop that. You know, you you can immediately put a stop to that because it's like how how is it that you guys are able to convince these strange these women, stranger women, hey, this is day two, and we can get out of it like this. And they go for it. And they're trying to like I. I'm like, what? What? Like, what are y'all talking about? If this is not what you wanted, say that then. You know, and and move forward with what you're trying to do because at the end of the day, it gets worse and worse and worse. And now we're sitting up here. Well, I'm gonna tell the truth, but then it's your word against his word. Everything looks like a lie. Every everybody on that stage looked like they were lying, except Michael and Chloe. And I was like, I don't know who to believe, because common sense says, well, if I don't want to do this, I'm not. But yeah. then it's like for for Cameron, like that's the only person I feel like, like actually the truth was he came up with the idea, and everybody else fell in line. 
And that's the only truth that I feel like, okay, we know that's where it started. This is what happened here. This is how we got to this setup um, for production type of deal. But then everything else is their word against each other. And I'm like, man, what, like, what are we doing here? You know, where's the facts? Cause I would have came with text messages, receipts, diary cams. Hey, check this camera out. Do this. Look at this. This is what he said. Just to prove my point, because I'm a person that likes to be right. I ain't right a lot of times, <laughs> but if I know that something is right, yeah, man, I got the facts for you, but it's, it's, um, they, they, and I don't want to pick on, on the women because it's like they, they did get the, huh? My I'm mic went out again. I said, I'm gonna fight you if you pick on the women. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to, but it's like, yeah, y'all had a hard time. They they said something about having a bad batch of men, right? Y'all okay. did. Y'all had like, you know, it was it was terrible for you guys, but you guys agreed to it. That's the issue that I stand that I have with the women is you guys played with played this game. You could have took your ball and went home. Now yeah. I, I wonder. So group that whole group think. That's the thing. Yeah. Like that's that's I think where they are. They where they were. But I wonder um, if once they realized, oh, they don't like me, right? But I need this money is good. Is that is that when you decided instead of saying, hey, this is what? Because you know, oh, you don't like me. I could use this little extra money they're giving me. I'm gonna just deal with whatever. Like I feel like maybe that's when the the. The, based on what they were saying, that's what feels like the turning point. Um, but they could have, like you said, said no. Why? Why would I? Why would I? Why? Why would I want to go along with this? We gonna just get a divorce, and we're not gonna be here if this what is what it looks like. But you know, I, I, I'm also trying to look at the maturity level of the majority of those women. Like it, it where sometimes they felt a little mature. For me, it showed up. Uh, on Wednesday's reunion, that may, maybe not so much. Maybe, maybe they, maybe not so much. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I That's don't what I agree with. I don't really know what was going on with mm -hmm. with with anybody. Yeah, All right. Like a collective <laughs> group of them. It's like it's, what? Yeah, it's weird because it's like if you say I don't like you on day two or I'm not attracted to you on day two. This is just day two. We got fifty eight more days to go. Got a bunch of them, you know. Like, <laughs> let's try this thing out, man. I may not be attracted to you, but shoot, we married. Let's go have a good time. Yeah, let's see where this thing leads to because that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna be attracted to what you've been attracted to because it's not working. You're on this show, <laughs> so let's try a different way, you know. That's it, and I think that's what irritated me the most and then to come to find out they playing a game while we sitting up here like invested invested yeah you wasted yeah. my time see i'm right. so glad i didn't invest you waste, all you that time you wasted my time you wasted my time right you that's like i'm all like i'm now i'm looking like i'm sorry that y'all was you know that y'all didn't skip like i did <laughs> Yeah, it, it makes you want to go back and start looking like okay well, this like, part was fake dang they, they did a good job here this part was fake dang that part was fake you know, we'll get to the Cameron and Claire fake part anyway in a minute, but just for them to get together as a group to say, you know what, we want our own optic, to me, is wrong. I think Gina and, and Clint did it the best. Even though they didn't like each other, they still told their story, right? I'm talking about last season, Tennessee season. Yeah. They yeah. didn't play it for the, they didn't play for the cameras, right? As to go to Tommy Point, they may not have like been attracted to each other. Uh, Gina may not have been Clint's type, but at least he was cordial. He still played. He went along with, okay, let's try this. Let's try that. I'm going to sleep in separate rooms. He wasn't like, let's give the audience something to talk about, right? They didn't make up some fake, uh, oh, let's talk about kids because I don't want no kids neither, or um, that's what they want to do. I kind of blame, I blame the women. I blame the men, but I also blame the producers of the show as well. Because when the producers saw them saying some things on TV that wasn't fake or wasn't, didn't, didn't line up, some, a red flag should have went up. What do you have the cameras in the apartments for? Like where are these having where are they having these side conversations at where you're not picking anything up? Right? Yeah. They're having somebody gonna slip up somewhere and talk about something in the living room because they forget the camera's there. Somebody gonna slip up somewhere and talk about something uh where around a producer again. So I kind of blame production because production fed us this. 
and allowed them to keep feeding us this. Oh, that's a good story. Good narrative. No one really checked up on this. Um, for the women to blame to cry wolf after you agree to it, y'all wrong. I'll talk about the women. I ain't gonna say them. I ain't, I ain't scared of none of them. They're wrong. You should they, be scared of me because here I come. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm scared of you, but <laughs> yeah, but not nah, they wrong though. They because you can't you can't be part of the game. When everybody get caught up in it, you like oh, and then you play victim. And that's what to me they play. They play victim. You telling the, you when the guys told you. I can tell Jack, okay, we on we on we on YouTube today, so I need you to act like you like me. If she on here, she gonna be, and she mad, we ain't doing no video. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no video getting done. That's not why she's not here, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's not true. But but it's but it, they ain't doing no video. So again, they're gonna see that on TV. I'm mad at you. I'm upset with you. I don't want to be with you. I'm not attracted to you. We're having a comment. Could you imagine if all this stuff that they was trying to hide actually played out on the season? It would be a great season. The stuff that it was, if the stuff they tried to get Cameron and Claire, I don't like you. Uh, you got a boyfriend. You got all this. With, that would have been better. Brennan telling her, uh, telling Claire, I'm uh, telling Emily, hey, look, I need you not to. Um, uh, uh, I don't really like you because you drink too much or you're doing too much or, uh, you know, you you, you emasculate me with your, you with your challenging me. Great for TV. If Orion would have been like, you know what, I really don't like you, Lauren. I'm here for my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for the indigenous people. I'm here to get some clout. They said, they said, my man, what did uh, Becca said? Becca said Austin was there to get Instagram followers, right? He's like, I'm not even on Instagram like that. So again, if some of these things would have played out, he said, I was attracted to you. I need to see you not, you talking about the religion because the religion thing went away. And so this is my thing about Becca too, because Austin obliged her. Well, every time he said, he never talked about the medical stuff. She didn't want to deal with the medical stuff on TV. He never talked about her medical situation. So she wanted to, she wanted the optics. She wanted a certain type of optic. You, I don't want people to hear my medical situation. And he obliged. Well, also may say, you know what? I don't want people to know that I vape or I smoke. So I need you to oblige. I don't want to have arguments here because at the end of the day, I have to go back to my real job. The biggest dilemma is you knew what you signed up for. Everybody watched this show. You knew what you signed up for. The reason that you knew what you signed up for is because you was willing to play. You wanted to play producer. And have your own way because you didn't like how other people were produced in the past. Well, be honest and be true to yourself. If you're a butt, Brennan, be a butt on TV. Emily, if you're a drunk, be a drunk. We would be the first drunk we'd have seen. Virginia was one. You know, so, let me see, allegedly. I mean, I'm starting using the word allegedly. You ain't trying to get sued by nobody. Allegedly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but again, show those. Chris, look, Chris let everybody know from Atlanta, look, I'm who I am. I'm going to be who I am. These people just, it wasn't honest and truthful. And that's the biggest thing is you shamed the whole season. And Meredith, Meredith First Sight should be ashamed. The experts should be ashamed. Interesting to see what happens next week when they get with the experts, when they start talking about how they shamed everybody. Dr. Pia, Pastor Cal, um, Dr. Pepper. You know, but for all of them to sit there and agree, Cameron and Brendan are masterminds. To get all of them to be on one accord, to get on one page to agree, let's 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 tell our own story. They stories. are what you call master manipulators, and that is exactly what they were called. People who can get someone on board like that are cult leaders, okay? And then the people that follow them are people who are um, sheep, right? I don't, I can't really think for myself. I'm not really sure. I really just want to be with you. I really want this to work out. So I know you guys are like, you know, saying, oh, the women should have, should have, should have, should have, should have. Not all women have voices to be able to say, you know what? I don't like this or, or afraid to say, I mean, uh, if we keep it a band, you know, Brennan, you know, he apologized and everything. Kudos to him, but definitely felt very controlling. Like that would be who he is. So what were the things that were saying that was intimidating for her to be able to say, I'm going to push back? against this whole plan that not just one person devised, not just two people were going along with, but everybody. So for me to be strong enough, not everybody has the character um, to be strong enough to go against, you know, seven other people. I mean, I would, I'd be the one that people don't like, you know what I'm saying? That's okay. Because I, I know who I am, but it takes a lot of, sometimes it takes people a while to get to that place. So if like, uh, is her name Chloe? Chloe and Michael, is that her name? Chloe? Okay. Yep, if yep, they Chloe. had been on sooner, 
I don't think that would have flew because Chloe would have said, I'm against it. Like you need someone who has some, some experience and knows how to navigate those situations. I don't think any of them, no matter how, you know, ready they are to be married, had the experience to know how to navigate standing on their own. You know what I mean? And I'm sure that's how they ended up all the women ended up banding together because, oh my God, we all really didn't want to do this. Well, why didn't we talk about this on day three when they were saying it? And if we, cause I didn't know you and I didn't, I didn't want to be the outcast. I mean, you know, it's that whole like schoolyard thinking you remember when you was a kid. I mean, I've always been, you know, a troublemaker, right. You know, I've always been the person that's uh, spoke up for herself. I've always defended myself. I didn't have anyone to defend me for me. So I had to do it myself. And so it's that, it's that whole thing. Oh my God, I don't want to be bullied. Right. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hang out with the bullies because I don't want to, I don't want to be bullied. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to tell you that picking on that little girl who probably is, you know, homeless and living in her car with her mother that smells that that's not okay. I'm not, cause I don't want to be the person that you attack next. Cause I don't want my secrets exposed. You know, so I'm trying to give them a little grace. I really am trying to give, I'm trying to give them some grace, trying to see like the big picture of everything. But somebody told me that that's my problem. I'm always trying to see the full situation. Somebody actually told me that and hurt my feelings. Like I'm giving you grace when I want you to, when I'm trying to show you the whole dynamic of something, it ain't me talking bad or seeing someone's situation better than the other. It's just me saying, look at the other side. Like that's how I, that's just the way my brain has always thought. But I hear y'all. I, I just be trying to, the biggest thing for me is just tell the truth. And if you say the truth, have some type of fact. So they have to rebut rebut it. Because you if you say you did something and I say, no, you did something. If I don't have anything to come back with and you don't have anything to come back with, I'm going to continue to say you did this. You know, well, I mean, they did have a little something. Now, they didn't bring it on online, but they showed the screenshots between Cameron and Claire where Cameron was saying. I, ain't even lie to you. This. I don't believe that. You don't? You believe it was the, I like it, it, it could be made up. up. It could be made up because it's like if the like for me, for certain things like that, if it if it's me, I'm a you gonna see, hey, this is me, this is X, Y, and Z and stuff like but it was a third party that did that, right? Right, like somebody nah, it was, no, it was go ahead, Glenn. No, nah, go ahead, go ahead, you go ahead, Talisa. You got the scoop. I, I got you. Go ahead. I, I, it, I'm because correct me if I'm wrong. I thought it was the text messages between Cameron and Claire, and then on top of that, there was a third party who talked about how she was treated by Cameron and wanted Cameron. So they were two kind of like different situations. Wow. I think if I remember correctly, but please, if I'm wrong, correct me. If I'm wrong, I'm okay with that. I mean, I might be boisterous, I might be bodacious, I might be loud and audacious, and all those things. But I do accept correctness, okay? I mean, being correct. No, I th see, I thought this whole time it was just the third party mm -hmm. just, you know, going back and forth with somebody. Y'all hear my son snoring? He in no. the living room on the couch. Can y'all hear you? Y'all see my kids keep coming in here? <laughs> these kids ain't, nah, these kids ain't been around me all day. <laughs> <laughs> But not Talisa, you, you're you're correct on that. It was a conversation between Cameron and Claire that went back and forth. And then what happened? The other text we'll get to it later. Maybe talk about it. Or, uh, is that Cameron's ex girlfriend was in Reddit talking about how the, in the relationship ended and how he was manipulative to her and how he kept doing the same the same thing he did to Claire. Basically, he did to her, and that's why the relationship kind of ended there. Uh, he was Katan controlling him and Claire did eventually get to a part. Uh, he said it on the um, show um, that they didn't realize he didn't like each other. But let's go ahead and get this money. Basically, <laughs> let's uh, let, let's create our own narrative, our own storyline. Let's create, create our own piece so we can end this thing. And that's where the manipulation came from. If you think about it, I'm kind of look at it like. Orion and Lauren wasn't on there long enough to really create any type of story. Can we right. be honest? Right. That's, uh, uh, Brennan knew he didn't like Emily from the get go. Like, what what story are we creating here? Um, and then you had um, what I miss uh, Becca and Austin. They liked each other. Did he really like her? She really liked him. 
so. And, and, and I thought so. And but the issue was that, uh, as she said, on one of the after party, he lied about vaping. Uh, he lied all the time. Um, and, and that was the biggest thing. And then this producer situation where she says you and I was a producer. I'm sitting here like, OK, if you and I was a producer and I've always blamed Becca, yeah. you told him you're going home and to be at your house. You're going home by yourself. So was he supposed to sit home and be mad like you? I mean, like you're sitting there. You told him, I'm going home to think. I'm going home to get my mind right. Claire and him called Becca say, you know, Austin out. And you mad. Austin, I was a producer. So it makes me think what else was going on with producer where everybody says nothing was going on with producer. Even the producer says, and Austin says, it was the fact that he just went out with the producer and told, it didn't tell her that he was going out with her. You're going at home. I'm resting my mind. I'm going out with the producer and the rest of the dudes. And the fact that when she confronted him about it in front of the rest of the girls, which I thought was wrong, he lied. And she like, that's that's why you you, you confront. I'm not confronting Jack in front of her, her girls because I'm wrong. I'm not going to win that. Come. We're going to talk about it. Later. Behind closed doors. We're going to talk about it later. But see, and, and go that back to that scene. All of them was egging him on, egging her on. And she got that. She got the energy and that, that fire because she had support. And the relationship went south. It wasn't supposed to go south at that time. But that's where they're that's where they're messed up at. So now you got all these people staring the pot, plus the fact that we created it. Now the girls are trying to get out in front. We solidarity. We got we're, we're together. But y'all created this mess. I ain't they ain't created by themselves. And when you talk about uh the whole Austin going out with the producer thing. Now, no, he was not supposed to sit at home and be stolen and sulking by himself. But I do understand what is the secrecy. So for her, I think it felt more like, um, so, you know, you've been waiting on your opportunity, especially now I agree. I don't feel like any um, disagreement should be had in a group setting. I don't care who it is, if it's friends, I don't care any of that. That's something that should be taken off to the side. I, I no matter who the situation is. And that's my biggest pet peeve with all like the housewife shows and all of those shows is that they always, you know, we, we arguing in, in front. I don't like, I don't, I don't like that. That's not my get down. I want to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one. but um, because he lied also makes it feel like you were hiding something. Even if everybody is saying nothing was hit, nothing, there's nothing to hide. Then you don't have to lie. Right. And, uh, I mean, technically they were still married. So she could he could have said, I'm gonna go get a bite to eat with, you know, Carrie, the producer, right? And is it just you and Carrie? And what are you and Carrie talking about? Have you and Carrie? Like, that's where her mind, I'm gonna just keep it a band. Like, that's where her mind went because you didn't share it. Her mind went to, was it just you and Carrie? Well, what were y'all talking about? Have you and Carrie? I seen how you and Carrie been looking at each other. You know what I mean? And all this, all this overthinking tends to happen in situations like that so from a man's point of view it's logic and rational i just went to go eat we just i wasn't gonna sit at home da, da, da. but in a woman's mind well why wouldn't you just share that that's what you were gonna go do because you didn't want to be you wanted to have a conversation or whatever it just felt in her mind not in mine because you know i'm a little i'm a little different in her mind it felt you know secretive mm -hmm. it felt like what are you what are you hiding but i you know that i'm just playing devil's advocate over here okay i know he don't need no advocate but i'm gonna play it anyway <laughs> man it's it's funny with them just because the thought when when that particular moment happens is it's like why didn't he think to just check in with her you know just just honestly just be like hey you good you know this is how i'm you know just have that conversation because they're they just said hey we're going to stay together. That's the thing that I don't understand. We're going to stay together and then, but we're going to go our separate ways, but we're still going to work on this thing. And so in working on it, you have to communicate. And that's something I feel like a lot of people didn't talk about this season is communication. Yeah. You know, like, like we've heard it in previous season, like, yeah, you communication, communication, but shit, I guess they were just trying to get the lie together on this one <laughs> uh the the fact that i'm a horrible liar by the way the fact that that many people can keep a lie together for that long is uh you got to commend them for that 
I feel like it was falling apart once you started seeing all them the the uh the women getting together and banning banning together for around uh what's her face blonde hair girl Emily like when they was banning around her when they were banning around uh Claire like you could see like I'm going back in my memory you can see that it's starting yeah. to fall. you can see that it's starting to like fall like it was falling apart you know what I mean like they couldn't keep that lie together so I don't, yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah. And oh, uh, thank you for that reminder, Karen. Kathy is, I was going to say something earlier. Kathy had, Kathy Jeffries has said, um, they should be sued. Lifetime and Married at mm. First Sight should sue them. I'm all like, how is that going to work? Are they going to still get their money? Do they still get, I, I, that was one of the things that kept going through my mind as they kept talking and drum, drum, bombs were being dropped. I kept thinking, are, are they going to get paid still? Are y'all because this is a breach of contract to me. This you didn't follow the protocols of the contract. This is a breach of contract. So you went on a honeymoon and y'all came back and you moved in. Fine, you get that. But everything else you don't get. Like what what? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they they, they definitely uh have to look at this season and find their their pivot moment because they can't do they can't produce a show like this next season. They're gonna get canceled. Like nobody yeah. watched it. They, I'm pretty sure they lost a lot of viewers. Yeah. Um, you know, and I want to kind of look at that too, like seeing their viewers over time because it's like you got everybody hooked during COVID. They went back and watched all your other seasons, and then you know we we got to catch up. People talking about it, all this and all that, and then you produce this in Denver. Like it's nothing beautiful I'm not about talking about Denver, but it's nothing outside of uh sports skiing and, and snow. And weed. <laughs> and and weed that's in Denver, you know. You don't hear a lot of people talking about I'm visiting Denver. Um and it's like I personally want to go to Denver, but I haven't been yet, so there's that. But it's Thank it's you. like all right, so what's what are you guys gonna do differently next year to make sure this doesn't happen? Because when I heard they have put stuff in place, they have heard the next season. Yeah, when I heard the next season have put stuff in place, um, they made some changes. They so need to revamp like, the whole show. They need to figure out how to revamp the whole show. Yep. Um, and they do, do something different because we're all, you know, only reason I'm still doing it is because y'all was doing it. I would have stopped after the Chris episode. I, I mean, the Chris season. The Chris Man, and, uh, I'm hanging on by Glenn. <laughs> Listen, exactly. If y'all did not say, are we doing these Sunday lives on Married at First Sight? I would not be invested I'm at all. Be. You guys, okay, let's let's keep it a whole but you guys are the reason that I still come on YouTube, that I keep that I still be like, ah, I better get back on YouTube and get, let me get myself working again. Oh, I better get because all of these shows, ready to love, married at first sight, all of them have put a bad taste in my mouth to make me not want to not want to go and and review them if they feel yeah. very uh for trendy words low vibrational to me and they are affecting <laughs> me right and so i just i just be like eh but i gotta figure out something else to do on youtube yeah. for my people for my ray of sunshine because i be getting inboxes all the time like where, where you been i missed you where you been i missed you i ain't yeah. seen you and I'm gonna have to start telling them. Well, tell me something other than a shoulder review because I I ain't got it. I couldn't even watch Love Is Blind. Like I, I was watching, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go and review it. And I kept saying, nah, no, 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 I'm not going. Nope, this is this ain't it. This it's, ain't it's, it. It's, it's making so, me mad. It's so time consuming for certain things, you know. It's like, dog, like man, I could be doing X, Y, and Z. Most of the time, I forget that the show came on this this season. Yeah. You know, tell, because until until you get that message from Glenn, are you guys available? Right. <laughs> 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 because, you know, watch the show. Like, oh yeah, today is. <laughs> I need to read. Look, I need to watch that, man. God, Lee, let me let me but go you know, on and I watch. Think, that. I, we've done that too. I think we, we've done that too because you know we usually watch it. You know, it'd be like, okay, let's we can watch it Wednesday night, even though we get home a little bit later after the show starts. We start at the beginning, watch it. And now I find Jack not pressed to even watch it. So she takes a little bit longer and she takes a little bit longer to get to watch whatever the show is. And I'd be like, well, you know what? I, I might watch it, but I want to watch it by myself. So I watch it. <laughs> it is what, you know, and like, let's do it. But again, it gets, becomes hard because again, especially when you have people who are faking and when you get 
I think after a show runs for a period of time and people understand what that show is, like they will begin to change just for the show. They create that narrative for the show. And when the producers begin to see what works, right, they'll put those type of people on for the show just to create a show. You can see when Married at First Sight, when it kind of shifted a little bit, they realized, oh, dang, we keep putting people like Chris on or we keep putting people where couples don't match and they argue more, we'll get more ratings. People like to see the drama, not that people want to see the real true experiment. We're ready to love. Let me put somebody on here like a uh, Habibi or let me put somebody on like uh, who else? Like Lamar from this season. Let me put somebody on here who talks sexual and do some wild stuff. Or let me put a girl on here who is rah, rah. Right. And then, oh, that worked. We got a lot of ratings. So guess what? I need to put somebody on here like this every show, every season, not knowing if you show a real experience where five couples right. actually make it, where five couples actually they're not produced to to start conversation, they're not produced to, but it's really reality. Mm. Like you're not, you're not killing them with production. Fourteen hour days. Now they on set. This, that, and the other, and you make the just the have. I didn't care. I don't care if you show me the um the hidden camera footage, right? That that uh, of these couples, I want to see them act genuinely, not well, produced. I agree. I Give agree, me man. the genuine yeah. production of it, not the you know produ uh, the produce uh, producing of it, but the general. You know, like we saw Shaq and Lord, uh, Shaq and Kirsten when Shaq didn't come home and give her a hug. That to me, like, oh dang, he, he, she, so she is telling the truth, like Tommy said, like she did. You got receipts for this, yeah. like she didn't come home, like you know, you don't come home to give me a hug, you know, you don't say hi, you go straight to your, you know, or when Brandon would come home within DC season, where Brandon would come and go to his own room and go play video games and leave Taylor in the, in the living room. That was reality, you know what I'm saying? That was like real. So I don't think those people things. realize people don't realize that marriage though has a lot of, if you just do regular the regular married stuff, that's mm. a lot of drama by itself because it smells mm. W O R K. Marriage takes work. You got you've got two different personalities, no matter how long you've been married. I mean, if we put a camera on y'all, you know, because I'm the only one of us not married. So if we put a camera on y'all, it's gonna be entertaining too. I, I, with your regular life, I, I'm here for. Pay them to follow them around. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want Regular that. Regular married people who've been married for you know ten plus years. Show me them. Like, let right. me see them. Right. That's it. It's just like that's what I was gonna say, man. It, it's so interesting to see two people actually have to figure out how am I gonna get this ship to go that way. But his ship over there wants to go this way, and we got to work together to get these two ships going in one direction. It's like it's it's one of the more intricate things of life, and because it's like work, <laughs> like you really have to say, nope, this didn't work last time. Let me try this out, or or you get a a a, a, a wrench thrown in there, and you got kids. That and it really gets me interesting. Then you got kids, Ooh, you know, kids, them kids and. Woo, them kids have derailed a whole plan you thought you had. Y'all had a whole, y'all had it all navigated and mapped out, and boom, here come them kids. And you like, here come them this kids. Ain't working. This ain't working no more. It's a thunder. Man, I, I, I think they just have to, like, realistically look at where they went wrong. I think picking the places is another thing, too. Like, what type of, you know, like, what are we getting here? Mm. You know? What what's gonna be because I think they tried to say some of the people uh Orion was more interested in Lauren and, and, and I don't know why Lauren had so much to say because Lauren went on the honeymoon and came home and got divorced and then throughout the whole show she was like back and forth I might give him a chance no I'm not because he don't talk to me but she pointed out that Orion was interested in bringing attention to his uh, his people. I see that, though. Right. I'm like, well, it is going to bring attention to his people. Well, it's um, true, but based on, look, look what his na narrative, narrative is. Narrative, you yeah. call me a redskin, right? Yeah. His right. narrative is bringing, his whole narrative, their whole relationship is about his people. About his people bringing it to light versus their relationship and as us being two different cultures they're going to be highlighted anyway that yeah. was a good point that's a good point but it was we were going to see you were going to show us your culture right oh lion you were going to see us 
you were going to show us your culture, right? You were going to be able to show us because we were going to see you living day to day and right. how you, you know, brought together her black American. I don't know if she calls herself African American, but I'm going to go with black American and indigenous American, right? Like, how does that, how we, how do we, how do we exist with each other? For, with each what, other. What we were going to see we that. See? What are the things we don't know to? Yeah. You know, yeah, and okay. then we get to highlight. So not only would o Orion get to highlight, but so would Lauren, right? Mm -hmm. All the things that we go through, which would have been a great. But like you said, Glenn, that whole uh, red skin comment, he highlighted the H-E-L-L -L out of that. And so that just that just proved that what she said was accurate to me. Like, yeah. But you're right. Like, why are we still talking? You were embarrassed. I feel sorry for you. Um, my heart goes out to you. But girl, let's move on. Like, we now, we we now eight weeks in. That was in week one. Week week one. That was in week one. Like, like <laughs> again, I play production. They keep bringing them on TV. Like, you let these people ride. I, I'm happy. I would have been like this way. If they said they were out, stop showing me the couples. Right. Let's focus on the couple that's that's together. I don't have to see Lauren and Orion. I don't have to see um, Cameron and Claire unless yeah. something happens with Cameron's a heart condition that goes. I don't need to see all that. I need to see the couple that are dealing with each other. Now, if they're dealing with each other, guess what? We're, we're rocking, right? I, I'll take it. If they're not dealing with each other, let it fly. Let it fly. But they, they did that. So I want. I really want to get into this Cameron and um, Claire uh, situation. Um, because Karen, when, when, uh, Kevin was talking to Cameron and Claire, you know, they, they, they were in cahoots. They talked about a lot of things that they did Would they, how Cameron was the mastermind per se, um, how Cameron orchestrated the plan, how Cameron got everybody together, how Cameron went and said, you know what, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to get on TV. Uh, this is how we're going to get off of TV. And, and did Cameron seem that smart to y'all? Actually, he actually does. He always seemed uh, uh, on the smarter end of things to me. Um, but there was always something about him that I couldn't place my finger on. There was always something that he seems like an intelligent person. But there's something about him. I knew I didn't like his voice. So I'm going to start there. So something that, that always gave me a creep when he talked. I never said that, but that's the truth. Okay. Um, but there was something about him. And now, I, you know, when I go and I read people's comments and I look at that, like, smirk he always had on his face, he did seem like he was devising a plan. Like, he was like, <laughs> that might be what I didn't like about him. I don't know. But he seemed smart. He he seemed smart to me. But maybe I'm wrong, you know. He reminded like me of, uh, of Gru off of the Minions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. an evil genius, but. Dude is hilarious, man. Yeah, I think I think he's just a, a very intelligent guy and is uh very manipulative. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think he I think he played the game well. So we talked earlier, we talked about the text messages. Well, guess what? I got the text messages. So here we let's go. Let's take a look okay. at the text messages. I know you were looking about. for something. You was over there being inspector gadget over there. You, were, you, you, know, you was over yeah, there being uh, you, you, you asked. Ask, Look, y'all ask, I found, let's discuss. Let's go. <laughs> here we go, right? The text message is here. Uh, camera's in the gray, and um, we have Claire uh, in the green, right? He said, when I get put in a corner, I would do anything to get out. And I mean anything. So gr so green light. I will not involve you in any way, but there is no, there's no going back. Once I flip the switch, it's over. She's like, she agrees. Yes, do it. What are you going to do? I'm curious. Nuclear option release. Stay strong. So the heart, heart emoji. Let the negotiation begin. What if we get fully paid, get fully, get full money, but only do one more week of filming? We can now work out what we can ask for. That's Cameron talking to Claire. So he's where he's he's devising a plan. As you talk about Gru, Gru is devising a plan. All right, and the minions are saying, "We're good, boss. <laughs> let's go. Let let's go. We're good, boss. Let's let's get one more week out of this thing." And we can get our full money. It's about the check, right? Here it is. It's about the about the payday. It's about the full check. So Cameron is saying, Cameron is saying, okay, I got a plan. Let and Claire's like, okay, let's agree with it. 
Here's the next part of the text message, all right? I'm out. This is way too much. Yep. Plan A begins this weekend. So what's your plan? We start talking about kids on camera and our disagreement. The moment they move in, the moment the move-in check comes, we cite irreconcilable differences and leave. Thoughts. They will be a film. They will be filming if we want the other checks, but they won't film five days a week. So we move in. We get the move in check. Boom. I get put with my money. We reconcile with differences. We leave. They ain't going to film us a couple of while, a couple of days, a couple of here, a couple of days here. What happened? Right. Cameron said he had a heart condition. They said irreconcilable differences. They left. We start seeing less of Cameron and Claire. We see more Claire, less Cameron. Right. She went on a retreat. So then now is a little. His plan started to work. Claire, like Claire was like a little. I think, Tommy, you said it. Claire just wanted to hang out so she can hang out with the rest of the girls. Mm hmm. So she came around so she wanna hang out with the girls and she wanna be around. He devised a plan. This is when you first of all, I like to know who who's who sent these text messages to uh Meredith's first sight uh, fan, right? Uh MLS fan, because it got Cameron name on it, right? Shout out to this where I got these from. So a shout out, I did give credit to what credit is due, right? Uh, and so and so uh, and, and so you see this, he's devising a plan, and she's not saying no, she agreeing with it. She's like, I'm curious, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's go time, you know. Oh, that's on the next one. She's like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. All right, here's the next one. Um, boom. All right. Uh, you heard anything from uh, Lauren? No, Lauren is out. Cameron saying Lauren's out. Yeah, she texted me and told me Sunday they're both going to meet up with us to tell us. Okay, let's get let get this be done. Remember, from now on, we're cold to one another on camera. The switch has been flipped. And now it's a race to the finish. Yeah, it's go time. We got this. Is Lauren going to be at the dinner? What if we surprise everyone and say we're getting a divorce too? That would really get this beat done. So remember, y'all remember the scene when they all went to dinner, right? Mm -hmm. And it's he kind like, of like one, two, one, two, three. two three. Do you want to get divorced or you know stay together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Divorce. There's there's the plot. There's the plan for that. So they devise this, and she can't. You can't help him in cahoots his receipts, and then you back out. Oh, then blame he manipulated me. I was about to Where say she, she's me? manipulative too, though. I mean, we watched her be manipulative before we even knew that he was a mastermind. I thought she was controlling and manipulative. I thought she was the problem. They were both the problem. Okay. Yeah, they they something else, man. That's why he wanted to still be with her, because they're the same people. But it's like, did he really want to be with her? Or oh, was he trying to manipulate her again? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to be with her. He wanted to collect those rest of those checks, right, for doing nothing. All right? Give me my money. Money, money, money. Let's say we don't like they Obviously, they didn't like each other, because from day one, she was like, she was down with it. Okay, I don't like you. You don't like me. I'm down. Let's go. Let, let's get it done. And that's the frustrating right. part. It's like, man. Work it out. See, like, like they're they're coming up with a plan to, you know, uh, fal uh falsify something, right? They're coming mm -hmm. up with a devious plan. When if they just go through the motions, they get paid. I don't understand the want to get off the show so bad. If you signed up for the show, if you claim you want to be married, if that right. Is you knew what it was you knew, you knew exactly, exactly what it was. was it wasn't a marriage i think it was like more of a film it became rough they couldn't handle the long days and the long nights they couldn't handle what they were looking like on tv it's like i mean in all the text messages he talks about the filming like the filming i don't know how much they putting on these guys i don't know how much they filming and when they're filming but they like the filming is really dogging these people out yeah that's what they said too about uh who was that who was that who who was that um brennan and uh, is that his name? Brennan and yeah, Emily. Emily. Emily? Em no, not not them. Not them. Austin and Becca. Okay. okay. Austin and Becca, when she was talking about the filming days were hard for him. So they were talking about how long of days they were. Then they need to figure out how to break that up because knowing that you only given us one day of filming out of the one every week you give, I don't know how many, but that's how I feel. Like if it's a long day, you're giving me one day out of an entire week. Why don't you split those hours up? into different days 
so that but we can then, get glimpses of them every day versus one hour for i mean i mean you know you eight ten hours of, with them for one full day that i don't like going to work that's that's work that feels like work <laughs> that feels like work like make this so that i want to do it i don't know it's um, you right though they sign up for it they they do sign up for it and i do believe they tell them what they're signing up for when yeah, it comes like, to like the filming but you know how it is you like that job you got that job and you want that job and you don't re- you make your money you good and then once you get in the job you like God, dog, I gotta do all this. They make they paint the picture look good, or they think they can do it. And and Cameron, so it makes you question. And this is where I question, and I'm alleged allegedly question: Was this heart thing for real? I don't know. Oh, was oh was this part of the was this part of the ploy to you know what I can say this? They can't go into my medical records. They can't look at HIPAA because a HIPAA violation. So they can't do this. Stress I'll test. Them. What you got that stress test for? You could have printed that out the off the internet and cut it like it was a stress test. What you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the nurse. If the nurse was here, she said she said it. He only had a fibula flutter, and like he's acting like he had open heart surgery. She's like he ain't recovered yet. <laughs> Go back to watch the over the over the overview when Jack was like, "Yo, he ain't recovered. That's all he had." Like she was looking sideways. Right. Like, she- she was not with it. Yes, the nurse was like, "He lying." <laughs> yeah, so, right. so, 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 Jackie, so that we can see, because she would probably be like, "See, I told y'all, I knew something wasn't right." Something was right, right? Knew something was right, right? <laughs> right, but they're playing a game. I, I look. That's where he plays a game, and, and and he manipulates her, right? And for him to, and when he talks, he, he always throws stuff off or bring things out of obscurity when he's asked a question. He'll go to another point. I, and then I want to show this because Kevin Frazier asked him about, oh, did you organize this? Did you put all this together? When did it start? And he goes and starts telling the story. But then he hits us with this one. The second night of the honeymoon, after hours of crying, Claire shared that she was in love with her boyfriend. And I say boyfriend because it's my understanding that it was active. He throws you off because that wasn't a question. The question was, were you the mastermind? Did you start all this? He said, well, it started because Claire didn't love me anymore, so I had to devise a plan to get out of it. That is what a manipulator will do. They will switch it. So was this story about the bar free true? No one knows. She Nobody said, knows. She said, why would you lie like that? You're lying. Like, who knows? Who she knows? Said yeah, she said it was a year ago. He said it was a couple weeks ago. And she like it's not true. So again, he's manipulating the, the the narrative and throw off the fact that he was the mastermind. And now he got Claire looking like oh, I can't believe you told that. Like it's like it's like two criminals who rob a bank and they get caught. Now they snitching on each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no man, you did it. No, it right. went. You did it. That's the irritating part. Like somebody like he he drops that. You got to be like roll the clip. Right, because. <laughs> But I guess that was said in the hotel, so there's no cameras in the hotel room, right? There's right. no extra cameras in the hotel room, so they both can make up all kind of stuff. I mean, he did say, I, I don't know, maybe I'm making it up, or maybe I wanted to believe that he told her that he liked European slender women. Okay, that might have been did. last season. He did, didn't he? No, nah, he, yeah, he said, said that he today. Did. Or, yeah, he said uh, that, no, I mean, that he liked European today. slender women. No, I think. <laughs> I think he said that during said like. That. The honeymoon. Yeah, he said it on the yeah. On the, yeah. Oh, on the show. Okay, 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 so not, I, I didn't make that up in my spirit. No, nah, because I nah, feel like that. she was like, I instantly started being like, well, he don't like me because I'm not slender, right? He and then when he shares everybody that he's attracted to her, I'm with I'm with her when they did that after party. I did see that after party. When what do you what? I didn't know that. Why didn't you say something to me? So I feel like. Cause I remember at the wedding how I felt like, oh, she likes him. Like I felt like she was into him, and then the, in the honeymoon, all of a sudden, it was she was mean and cold to me, and I felt like she was always constantly analyzing him. There was a switch, and that was the switch. You don't like me? Why would I put myself? How she gonna be somebody therapist? Child, they in trouble. Don't hire Claire. You gonna be all jacked up. <laughs> you know, you, you took the thoughts out of my head because I'm like, who are you? Th- who are you? The therapist needs a therapist. Yeah, right? that, well, that's what they say. They say when you're a therapist, you need therapist, but they ain't saying it because you need 
well, I got a therapist. They're not saying that because you, you got issues. They're saying it because you're dealing with everybody else's issues. Yeah. Don't go to her. But no, she, she needs to no. go and sit in, with a therapist for a little while. She if I walked in her know. office today and I knew it was her, I'm walking. I turn I'm around. I leave. Like, <laughs> like you, you're, you're manipulating. Like she nah, is the nah. epitome of what things happen. She's like, yo, she's and the slender comment. I'm like, she is kind of slender though. She ain't like she's thick. No, she, like, I look, mean, and I think what are you looking for, part, you know, because she, you know, she. Yeah, she's short, he said she got that, that booty. He said he liked her booty though. He kept saying, because she kept saying, yeah, he gives me compliments, but it's always on my butt. Like, any man can... He did um, say that. She yeah, did. any man can yeah. keep compliment. Any any man on the street to compliment me, you're my husband, so give me other compliments. Like, she didn't, you know, she didn't want the physique compliments, but he was very much so physique driven. If mm -hmm. I remember correctly, he was very much, like, uh, physical touch driven. Right now, I don't want to say physical touch because that's unfair. Because physical touch is just I could just touch your hand and I'm okay because I want to touch you, but very sexually motivated. How about that? Yeah, that's what yeah. I felt like. Yeah, I think the comment that killed her was this. And I never, Talisa, you're the only woman on here, so I want to, I want your thoughts on this. Uh oh, he said, I felt like I was sleeping by myself, I forgot that you were there. Yeah, that's how did you sleep in a bed? How are you sleep in a bed with a, with a grown, whole grown woman? And forget that she I forgot you were there. Is there. That is yeah. gaslit. That is folk. Talisa, if a guy tells you that you're y'all in the bed and he tells you he wakes up the next morning and say, Oh, I forgot you was there. How you handle how I'm handling it? What <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have went along with his plan because at that point you aren't interested in me. There's nothing about you, there's nothing that says that you're interested in me. I wouldn't have been the and 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 which tells me that's why she went along with the plan so that she can get the money because this man wasn't interested in me. And she probably was the one to convince everybody else, all the other women, to go along with it when they found out that their husbands didn't desire them. But I would have left because there's no way. And y'all would have heard about it in my confessional. Y'all would have heard about it uh in front of him. Y'all would have heard about y'all would have heard about it. He said he forgot I was there. I'm a warm body. Like, what do you mean? You forgot that I was there. How dare you? How how, da you, how dare you? How do you forget a person is there? How do you get a forget a person? He was being a sarcastic asshole is what he was doing. He was being a sarcastic because she's so small. That's what he was trying to say. He was talking about her stature. Like, oh, I forgot. Oh, look how little and cute you are. You're fun size. Like, I didn't know you were there because I like tall, slender women. Like, this to total turn off. I probably married at first sight. I would have been the highlight because. <laughs> <laughs> Sirs, I would have been the highlight because I would have been reading him for film. You guys would have thought, like, what I is think, happening here? Oh my I god, think like, you'd be making TV. I would be making TV. You would see me all on the internet, okay? <laughs> on Al Gore's internet. You would see me. You would see me <laughs> everywhere, plastered, and weeks and weeks and weeks. Because guess what? I would I would be Lauren and would not have let up. Because <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I don't know how no, you that, forget that, a person being in the bed. He was being a sarcastic asshole. Like, because yeah. even the babies will be in the bed with us. And, you know that I know that they're there. And they're little, little, small people. So. Yeah, he was talking about her stature. He wasn't talking about her um, presence, per se. But he was trying to be funny about her being short. Because he likes tall and slender. That's just really what it boils down to. And she got it. She understood that you don't like me. You mm -hmm. do not like me. Mm -hmm. I'm not what you're attracted to. And honestly, I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, I know y'all keep saying, you know, you don't know each other. It's just two days and you're supposed to just work through it. I probably shut down too once I realized that because for men, you guys, your first, your first inclination of if you're attracted to someone is by what they look like. And instantly, now I got to work doubly hard. Is doubly a word? I got to work extra hard to make you want to be interested in me. I'm not into that. You don't want to be with me. I don't want to. It's cool. I might like you. I might love you. But the moment you tell me, uh, Talisa, Ray, we don't work out. This isn't working for me. I need to move on. I need to. I'm going to respect your wishes. May God bless you and God keep you always. I wish you well. Now, am I going to be hurt? Am my feelings going to be hurt? 
Am I going to feel embarrassed? Absolutely. But you could go. You could go. I love you. Goodbye. Okay. I wish you this the best. Is the, this is the crazy part, though. It's on the first night. That's the that's the crazy that's part. Right. I, it, he didn't know how to shut up. Hour, it, it's within hours of me meeting you. I'm sleeping. Remember, he camera slept with the robe and some clothes on on top of the covers. He was crazy. First of all, that's weird anyway. <laughs> I'm in his bed with my new wife, a whole woman. We may not be getting it in, but we may cuddle. <laughs> we may throw our arm over. That's a, to me, that's a red sign. Like, yo, that's a red flag. Like, we met. We're trying to have a, We're not even having a, You're not even trying to stay up and talk to me. We just met like a couple hours ago. We're not going to stay up and have a conversation. Like, let's at least sit up and talk. I know it's been a long day. She should have knew then that guess what? This ain't gonna work. Then when you wake up in the morning and realize he's talking about, oh, I forgot she was there, and you know you feel some type of way. Most women would have told him, I forgot she was there too. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. And no, like, what you mean? I said I forgot you was there. I saw you, but you ain't X, Y, and Z. We would have went in on you. Like, I see you, but you ain't what I like. You this, that, and the third. Your voice sound funny. You sound like a cartoon character. All kind of things. We would have said all kind all of kind, nasty, mean, kind. hateful things. I don't know. No, not everybody. Every, not every. People be nice. People say things in love and kindness. But he was trying to hurt her. He was trying to hurt her. And I think you her. Tommy, he was trying to hurt you, her. You, you thought, man, you ever slept with somebody that you forgot what they were? No, I never did that. <laughs> that. Absolutely. I don't know how that happens. I wouldn't even say that to anybody. Even if I did, was right. Forget them, you know, or you know, just on the other side. Just like that's just a comment I just wouldn't make. You Sometimes know? you just got to fight. Even when I was a little kid at my grandma's house, and we had a paddle on the floor, right? And you had your other cousins hanging over, or you you knew that your cousins were beside you. You knew that you knew somebody was there. Like, hold on, I can't sleep like I sleep at home. Yeah. Right? I can't sleep. Yo, how do you total total insult? She shut down that moment. She said that that's how yeah, he can walk. coming back after that. This is that's how he can walk back from the airport. Away from working. Ain't no coming back for Claire. Claire is now, you have now told me that you do not, you do not value me. You don't see me. You don't desire me. You don't even really want to get to know me. You're going to keep throwing that in my face. I don't want to be bothered. I can't yeah. do it. But he she did want to be quiet. He should have been quiet, Tommy. He should have been quiet. He should have. He and there's been a lot of times that he should have just been quiet. He should have been quiet. Got his check. Got on decision day. Said no. Move right along. They could have done that, and they could have had conversation, real life conversations. I ain't gotta like you. The whole uh, Glenn and what's her face? That was perfect. Uh, not Glenn. That was his name. His name was Glenn. Classy. Hmm. Oh, Jill and Clint. Thank you, Clint. See, y'all put their name. In my bag, Lynn. Yeah, they could have. They, they could have did yeah. that. I didn't understand their disliking for each other, though. I was like, these are two pretty people, right? These are worked. Like, so the attract, you know, they're attractive, and then so what's what's not clicking? So that's weird. So, but then Cameron, after he gaslights her, he talks about sleeping with her. I want your thoughts on this because this was weird to me watching the reunion. I'm sitting here like. Really? Did he just say that? And I want your I want your thoughts. What you're saying right now is that you would like to try again. I want to start fresh with the opportunity to try again. Crazy. Tom, I, I was I heard that. I was like, what? Why would she do that? You know, like what what point are you trying to like, bro? Like, no. If you if you're saying hey I I would just for like to be able for us to be cool and cordial okay we can work towards that and the way that we do that is this is probably be the last time I see you you know and you know if we see each other in the future we wave and move on I don't have to be friends with you because again you forgot that I was in the bed with you. <laughs> Again, it's it's like all these things you you sitting up here calling me a liar, and then we we're arguing. And I'm calling you a liar. Y'all just not matching. 
and now you want to you restart and try it. No, brother, you might as well chunk that one up. <laughs> you know, sometimes we have misses. That's a miss. You mess that up, and then you can't. You know, there ain't no getting back with that. So. I just kind of laughed at that. I was like, this dude, here's something else, man. Oh, grew. Oh, oh grew. <laughs> so, based on your thoughts, man, your, your thought, what, what, if, you, if, you, if you're if you Claire and you hear this dude, he done run you down, say you a nip tip, calls you a gaslighter, and then at the end of the day, he told me, you know what, let's try again. I would say I recognize that I'm amazing and that you see my light. Thank you for that. I wish you well. God bless and God keep, because it's a no. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Right. There's no way. There's no way. I'd even be, I'd even go as far me personally, because I'm big on self accountability. I, I go ahead and even share my, what, what you said. And thank you for, you know, giving me something to work on. I can see your perspective. Maybe what you're saying is true. I need to look at things, but it's a no for me. Like, thank you for seeing how amazing I am and recognizing the light that is in me, but it's a no. Okay. God bless you. Like it's no, it's no, I wish you well. I hope that you've, that this has been a learning experience for you as it has been for me. You know what I mean? Like, um, what's her face? Chloe had said something that actually brought a little tear to the back of my eye because I felt it. She said something about it being a transformational experience and I would do it all over again because I'm a different person now. Now I wouldn't be to go as far as to say I would do it all over again, but I would say that I'm grateful for this experience because this has transformed me, you know, and I hope, I hope it doesn't seem like it right now. I hope that these ladies take this opportunity and actually do the work required because they got some issues themselves, right? Do the work required like for um pink hair girl what i can't remember these people names and y'all just keep telling me over becca Becca. um for her for her to be able to work on her requirement for validation she hopefully she sees that um and works on whatever it is that makes her require the validation for um emily that she actually looks at you know because what i recognize with emily where i thought that she was holding herself really well and holding it together Today, honey, she let the bag out. I was like, oh, you was like, you like a 15-year-old. Your attitude is way crazy. Like, you doing too much. Mm-hmm. You know, while he's talking and all of that. And if that's what you were doing when the cameras were off, well, by God, he ain't going to want to be with you. You know what I mean? Like, if you were, you know, because the, the squinting eye, I get, like, I'm thinking, and this is a lie. But all the other stuff that she showed us today, I thought, oh, you got some growing to do, right? Like, I don't know. So I hope that they take this and, and and really learn from it. Really learn from it. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you on that. I mean, I, I'd have been out, but you know, I'd have been definitely out. So we talked about Cameron and Claire. The only other couple that we saw, you alluded to them, was Brennan and um, Emily, uh, and they having a conversation. And give me your thoughts on Emily and Brennan at the reunion, where we know Emily kept saying Brennan was controlling, and Brennan was trying to control the narrative. And that you know, your thoughts. Uh, we'll start with uh, start with Tommy. I saw you hit the mute button. Mm-hmm. No, I hit the mute button because uh, man, my kids are just really running wild, and my wife she's just dropping everything. Um, <laughs> you um, get beat up on you. We're gonna see you get beat up. The, I, I know she just said you better hush. Yeah, look, it's yeah, like, on camera. It's, it's recorded. Fine. <laughs> that flying pan comes flying, flying out that corner of that yeah. screen. It's gonna go viral, okay? Because we gonna see, they gonna cut me and Glenn out, and they gonna make you big when that when she come in there hauling on you, okay? Listen. So, so, soon as we, I'm gonna let her keep recording until it stop, and I'm about to cut that cut that bad boy up. <laughs> <laughs> right, Glenn try to go viral. Oh uh, no, no. Uh, they uh. I honestly, I don't really know what to say about them. I was so over it by the time I got to them. I was like, man, this is bull. They uh he the only note I have, he admitted that they planned the outcomes. And I'm like, the when the girls came back and they talked about um him holding on to or talked about her accident, I really felt for her. Because 
the blinding thing of him doing what he was supposed to do as far as like being there for her after that injury. It's like, bro, you really was considering this dude a good guy because you see him in a vulnerable time? Like, but do you realize everything else that y'all had gone through? How controlling he was to you and everything like that? And it's like, to me, that's weird. All of, like their whole situation was weird to me because who wants to be that controlling? Who wants to deal with a person that like I ain't gonna lie to you, man? If somebody's hurt, sick, or injured, I'm going to do my part, but I don't want to. It's not it's not because I want to do it, it's because it's the right thing to do. And I'm a person that tries to do the right thing and teach the right thing. Quiet stop. Huh. Like Rip the comedian, his wife left him after he had a heart attack. Yeah. That same situation. You expect her to stay because you think you're. Oh, she brought up. Uh, Artigas right here. She brought up the a comedian uh, named Rip. Uh-huh. I feel like I know who you're talking about. And he, uh, his wife left him after he had a heart attack, and the expectation was for her to stay. Same situation. It's like you just can't let the, a vulnerable moment like that make you say, "Oh, he's a good guy." No, this this brother is not. This brother is, is like like he don't like you, and you, like I don't think it'll be a good move for you both to say yes on decision day. So, um, I just don't like them together, man. This this whole season was just like throw it away. I'm waiting on the experts to come in to talk to them because. Uh, what's her name? Doctor Peel. Doctor Peel, give Brennan hell, <laughs> and I'm here for. <laughs> I um, I agree. I like the, I like when Doctor Peel gives him a run for his gives him a run for his money. Um, I did. I was glad to see that he apologized. I hope he apologizes to Doctor Peel for the behavior. Um, and how he, he, uh, cause he, he was a little, um, arrogant with her, if I can, if that would be the right word during their, their meetings. But I think the best thing they could do is go their separate ways. I think the best, cause you know what, Tommy, you made a, you made a, uh, you made, you made a, a, a good point when you said that I'm married to you. And if somebody, and I'm, we're together and you get hurt or you get sick or whatever, I look like a dog person just walking away. I look like I ain't shit, even though lots of people, hi, lots of people would like to go away because taking care of someone who is ill is hard work. But that does not mean mean you are a good person. That don't mean you, that just means you're doing the right thing. You don't want to abandon somebody in their weakest moment. I mean, I commend people. Okay, so Rip's wife, that was a bold thing. Cause she didn't want to do it and knew she didn't have the bandwidth to do it. So I commend people who would do that versus be mean to them and spiteful to them and treat them poorly because that's also a thing that, that can happen. So I would prefer if you ain't really into helping me and you don't love me enough to make those sacrifices, leave me alone. But like you said, you do not have to be a good person, right? Good care, a good character, moral foundation in order to stay and 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 help somebody you don't have to you just i'm just here i just want to make sure you know i'm on tv and i don't want to look my optics to look bad there we let's just bring it right back to it i don't want um my optics to look bad furthermore i think that um honestly i i I said it when i finished uh, whatever i was just talking about a second ago if Emily was showing up the way that she's showing up on this reunion, then by all means, he wouldn't like her by all means. Um, even though, you know, just, you know, well, do you know, well, what are you apologizing for? Like, well, yeah, I do want to know what you, I do. I would like to know why you're apologizing, but the energy behind it that she's giving is not being received well and i'm old i'm over here so if you've been acting like this the entire time no wonder he being stone-faced and does not want to get to know you and you know he should have been hurting your feelings on on the screen and telling you no i don't like you because you be acting crazy or whatever like so if he's controlling behind the scenes and telling her what to do and you 
you know, I don't know, I don't know what you would call her behavior, just being immature the way that she's been on this reunion show. And I get being hurt. Like I get, I get being hurt, but I just, I don't, I don't get the way she's expressing it. I think that she can figure out a better way to express how she's feeling. Um, because it, you know, we we go back and we look at the panel of women, the separation between the two, the way they're handling this makes them look bad. Honestly, in all in all um retrospective things, it really makes them look bad. It really makes them look bad. They are now, you are now the villain. Like where you wanted the men to be the villain, you because of how your 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 the behavior you're exhibiting. Like y'all in <laughs> Y'all mm-hmm. in the uh, dressing room dancing to whatever song that was that y'all was dance, dancing to. And I thought to myself, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What is going on? Sit your happy asses down. What is, <laughs> what is this? We do, what are you celebrating? Are you, do you think that you Dorothy? Because ding dong, the witches did. No, you guys are the witches. Like, what are we doing? Like, I don't know. I just that's, feel like. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like Brennan, if and we won't know because now we just it's just a bunch of you did this, you did that, uh, I followed along, blah blah blah. If Emily was exhibiting the behavior that she's showing today, then that's why Brennan he he is this is his reaction to it. I still don't like him though because his reaction isn't a good reaction either. Neither one of them are doing the yeah the you know uh, responding in an appropriate manner as adults would. I don't know. And that was his biggest thing too. I'm trying to protect you. I think that's the one thing I picked out. I'm trying to protect you. I was trying to protect you. And she's like, I didn't need no protection. And I wish he almost didn't protect her. I want to know. He, I wanted to know. Yeah. Right. I don't I want to know. Like don't protect her. Let her if she's a drunk slush, let her be a drunk slush. Right. If she foul mouth, let her be foul mouth. Right. If she is never been in a relationship and she don't know how to boil water like we saw with Katina, then I want to see her not be able to boil water. Right. I want to see. I want to be able to see what whatever she don't protect her. Let the narrative be what it is. And he went into protection mode instead of went into husband mode. Is a such thing. You can have protection mode, but you still got to be able to be a husband as well. And for this eight week process, he was trying to protect his image, protect her image and then protect the image of everybody else. And it didn't work because you can't protect everybody image. And then when he said, oh, we was really in a good place until the accident happened or we're really in a good no, we was really in a good place until you spread the rumor about the double date. Well, she got the double date information from her girl who got the information from the dude who's trying to break y'all up. So again, you you're, the people that you're running with are creating chaos in your marriage. Right? Even though y'all are in a good place, y'all got an agreement, we're gonna disappear, we, we're gonna we're gonna leave after the eight weeks. We're good, we're in a good place. I'm taking care of you. I'm being like Tommy said, I'm doing the humanity, I'm doing the human thing that I'm supposed to do is take care of you. We're good. And then if you don't like me and I don't like you and you slept with this dude, Australian dude, or made it out with this Australian dude, why are you mad at me if I wanted to go out on a double date? You already said we're going to break up after eight weeks. You already said that we're not going to be together. You already made out with an Australian dude, and I didn't even go out on a double date. You heard a rumor that I went out on a double date and assumed it was true, and you went in. Like, it's all fake. You, we already know we don't like each other, so why are you getting mad or fake stuff, right? If we made a deal for the leave to make a deal that we, we is over with, you're getting mad, or did you really like me? And this is the only thing I came up with. It was her first real relationship. She's young. She used and y'all, y'all can you know Jackie in here. So I'm gonna say y'all just read me the chat. It is this. She didn't know how to handle a man who didn't want her. And now she had to come up with something. It had to be some reason you ain't want me. Because she said, oh, I think that's like, oh, don't I look beautiful? You ain't want to sleep with this? Uh, or maybe that's next episode. Maybe I was on the preview. But again, you didn't want to sleep with me? No. You're mad because he didn't want to sleep with you. And now you want to, you want some get back. You got your voice because you thought he was sleeping with somebody else. Well, he's like, no, I can do eight weeks without sleeping with nobody. I just ain't going to sleep with you because I don't like you like that. And when you're not in a real relationship or you've never been in a serious relationship, that means you had situationships. And when people don't want to be in a situation with you, you're mad. And she's mad because he didn't want to be in a situation or, you know, have sex with her. 
And I, Jackie, I, I just, Jackie, where are you, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the that's uh, is that, but that's the same thing with Becca. Becca didn't want to go. She mad because Austin didn't want to sleep with her. Austin didn't want to sleep with her because he knew the relationship wasn't going to go anywhere. He and Austin said he's had a. I think he said on the show he had a three to six month timeline, and she was like, if he would have told me that, I wouldn't have been pressuring him. Then, but he he confused me. Talisa, you help me. I need your help on this. I'm grown and I'm other things, right? And Tommy, you too. How y'all do all this other stuff that they said he said they all be doing, and y'all never went all the way. And as a woman, how you let him do all this other stuff that y'all doing, and y'all never finish it off? That's weird to me. She was hopeful. Like every time we do a little extra stuff, maybe, maybe he's gonna get so excited because she wanted it. You know, he didn't want it. <laughs> so she, I feel like she was hopeful, like this is my husband. And you know, he said, and so maybe today's the day, you know, that you know, oh, I'm ho- I'm so maybe today's the day he's we gonna oh we gonna I'm I'm excited. You know, her girl parts was tingling, you know, birds chirping. You know, thumper thumping. You know what I'm saying? And she just was like, "Oh, yeah." Oh, and then and then is disappointed and have to finish herself off. Like I'm, I'm we all grown. Okay, Ain't nobody yeah. in here not grown. So I'm just saying, like, I don't, um, I don't, I, I don't know. I know why she would because she was hopeful. Like I want to. I'm attracted to him. I don't know why he would not. You know, I yeah. know he said. Well, he's got that. He. He set a boundary. <laughs> He's got some standards, he, you know, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But what the part that isn't fine is that he didn't share that with her. If you had said, he said that I like to go slow. But if he had said, I like to go slow and slow really means I get to know you for three to six months. I got a 90 day rule of my own. You can respect that more than you just telling me, yeah, we because she was valid because he kept dangling the carrot at her. Right. You you <laughs> you kept dangling the carrot as if you would. Mm-hmm. So you know, I just I don't know. Man. I mean, and Hubert, like, yeah, we might know why he won't, but she was willing to do the things that he wanted. Okay, every time they talked right. about pegging, she was all in. Like she was like, oh, you want me to peg you? Like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, forgive me, <laughs> Lord, forgive me, but she was all in. Anytime it was a slip up. It didn't scare her. Where most women, it was scared that you that that would be something you would enjoy. She was like, "Oh, I'm, I'm what? Let's go!" Like, yeah, crazy. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, done. I'm done. I'm about to call Jackie on me. I'm done. <laughs> Jackie, don't get to Lisa. Jackie. Man, I don't know. I don't know how he stopped. Like. If it's there, you know. So. Maybe he didn't stop. Maybe he, he's one of those selfish lovers. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I, I just. How? How are you I'm selfish? Just, I'm just so disgusted oh, she, with she, him. She takes him. She take, she take care of him, but he'll never take oh, care of her. Oh, thank you. I just had, I guess, because I wasn't thinking that they had gone that far. I didn't think that they would have wait, gone. Wait, the way they wait. described it, it seemed like that. Like Yeah, the way you described it, it seemed like they went that far. Only everything except for penetration. That's what it yeah. seemed like. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Like <laughs> they did the oral sex. Yeah, that's crazy. But not the the other sex. The whole what? the whole point is the let's get. That's that's wild. Yeah. And so you had a three to six months time frame. But if my thing, if you got three to six months time frame on that, you got three to six months on everything. Yeah, nah, like I don't have a three to six months. I don't either. <laughs> I got like, zero months, man. I've been married for twenty two years, so I ain't got no more. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, it, like even oh. before I was married, I was like, the main goal was to get it. I think I might be a dude, but I might have been a dude in my former life or something. Because that's never mind. I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> Ninety. I don't know, Hubert. <laughs> yeah, Hubert, that's a good point. How do you have a ninety-day rule with your wife? Your wife, not your girlfriend. Yeah, you have a, I, and I guess that's the way Becca was looking at it too. 
you're going to give me a 90 day rule. We know this process is only what eight weeks, two months. What the issue and is, you're give me- is to tell her that that's it. And that's what she said. All she said, all he had to do was tell me and it would have been good. You didn't, right. you didn't, and we had opportunity to share opportunity to tell. And he, he was kind of, I don't want to call him week back, but he didn't tell. Yeah. Yeah, that that's whole a, you went back to that communication where you were talking about Tommy that nobody used. Like, yeah. dog, it, it's it's uh this season could have been so much better if certain things would have would have happened. One, yeah. if they would have tried. Two, if they would have communicated some of the things that they because I think Michael and Chloe went through the same thing. Their community, like he was having issues, and they was like, I wish I would have talked to you about this and that. So yeah, I don't know. Y'all hear y'all hear quiet. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love, love it. it. I love it. I miss I love, those days. I love it over <laughs> there. Like I, it's one of them yeah. things that he can come over. They can both come over here and make all that noise and ruin my house, and then they go back home. Like I love that. I love that cheerful sound. That's very lots of joy. I like that noise instead of when they get to older. When they get older like that, can I hold something? That yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we take go? Can we go? Oh Lord. Can we go? Yeah, we're going out to eat. Can you put some money in my, you know? So that noise I can take, that don't cost me anything. <laughs> right. I like that joy, that joyful noise and excitement that they have over there. Because what I'm with you, Glenn. What I got over here, honey, is something else. He, be, he mm. it's so it's so it's so down packed over here. He'd be like, So this is the week where you pay all the bills. So we okay, we on a real budget. So the next paycheck in two weeks, like <laughs> He and, you know, he, you know, he think he know my pay schedule. He don't know what I'm saving and all that. But all he know is on that second one, I can get a little extra change. <laughs> let, me, let me hold something. Let me let hold me, something. Let me hold something. What you going to do for me? I had prom last night. You know, my son had prom. We dropped money in the account. He like, I looked in this account. And I said, oh, you ain't using no too much of that. Can I get that back? Oh, no, no. You know, I'm going to need that a little bit later. Like, dog, you know, I, I'm just, I was just saying, I got access. If I want the same way I gave it, I can take it. But anyway, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm not. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Kingston right behind him. Next year is prom. I'm not. I will transfer it right back. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, but I enjoy having you guys with us. I'm, I enjoy, we was back together tonight. That's what's yeah. up. The whole That's, game. I, had a whole, uh, yo, whole, yeah, we're we're missing a few, but, you know. yeah, we're missing a few, but we, we'll get them before the end of the season. They, they'll come back with us. They'll come back with us. Where's I don't know team? about Artika, man. Artika <laughs> rolling her eyes right now. Like, <laughs> we, tell, she need, we need to tell Artika we need a guest appearance, right? Yeah, yeah, guest they, appearance. They sit there and nod and smile and then tap Tommy when he say something crazy. He's <laughs> yeah, been exactly. doing good, you know, though. Jack- he don't be saying nothing crazy a lot lately. I kind of miss him. It's these kids, man. Yeah. <laughs> these kids, man. Look, I be having to mute myself and be like, come on, man. It's like, y'all ain't even been around me all since yeah. we got home. As soon as I can get on, here they go. Yeah. But I appreciate you guys. I appreciate y'all and everybody's chat. I, I, I thank y'all, all of y'all. Um, Talisa, what you got going on? Tommy, what you got going on, man? Go ahead and promote what you got. Um, Talisa. Um, well, I really don't, I don't really have much y'all like, I mean, I do, I have stuff off the scene. So I'm going to say this, if you don't see me on YouTube, I hope you're following me on social media at I am Talisa Ray. I'm going to make my way back to YouTube eventually. I really am. I promise that I am eventually. Okay. I don't know what eventually looks like. That's why it's eventually, but I, um, have an actual, I'm facilitating a retreat in May. Um, so I'm excited about that. I've been asked to come and speak. It's a three-day retreat in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm waiting on her to send me the um, flyer so I can share it with my Ray of Sunshines just so that they're aware. I don't know if there'll be any seats or anything available, but I'm excited about that. And then it dropped in my spirit that I need to start a book. So, I mean, I've been you know, saying I'm going to write this book, but I've been feeling different about what's going to be in it. But I, I think I've nailed it down. So um, I ain't going to tell y'all when because you know how I be procrastinating. <laughs> you know how that is. Other than that, I don't I don't really have much. I'm going to get my life together. When my life is together, I love the life that I have. And maybe that's why I'm not on YouTube so much because I'm experiencing life right now. So, yeah. Gotcha. 
Tommy, what you got going on? Um, Love Brew Podcast on Saturday mornings. We really enjoy that. Um, we got some other things in the workings that, you know, we still working on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than that, man, I'm just out here living life, dad life in it, husband life in it. So, we, huh, oh, and even though I don't have nothing, that don't mean you can't subscribe because when I have something, I want you to be the first person to know yeah. about it, right. And that goes for all of us. So you should, if you haven't already, but I, I think that everybody here in the comments have subscribed. That's how you know, because your notification bell is on and you popped up and you were like, oh, they on. So we, we know you got us. Now tell your friends, okay? And people that you didn't share that they should also subscribe, okay? And when you out and about and y'all talking about Married at First Sight, be like, do you follow? Because they talk about, okay, that's all. <laughs> Go ahead and tell mama. And, and for those of you that are subscribed, step up the level. Go to our memberships. Everybody oh. got memberships, right? Yeah. Everybody got memberships. Hit the memberships. What I'm going to do here on Jackie Glenn, I'm just going to hit just five of you guys and get a free membership right now. Well, I just gifted five new free memberships. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, it, it picks randomly. Uh, so five new memberships. And hit us. Oh, I just like hit us that. Up. So Thank we're just giving you five. We're just giving you five memberships. You guys will be uh, the members for the month. All right. And then you'll see all the new fresh content, the uh, content. We might just have a members only. A members only um uh panel discussion where you gotta be a member just to chat, right? Uh so hey, memberships. I know Jack and Glenn, our membership is only a dollar. It's only a dollar. So here's what that dollar. We appreciate you guys. That's a good value stuff. for a dollar. They need to jump on that because in a minute it ain't gonna be no dollar. Cause I'm gonna tell them what uh, you doing. Yep, just a just a dollar. So we got like a lot going on there. Um uh, match money thoughts is coming back. We're gonna work. We got we got stuff in the lab. Uh, man, new shows coming out. Um, never ever uh, on own. I'm gonna be reviewing that. Uh, we'll talk. I'll tell you about that. Did you see me looking like is this something I'm gonna want to do? Is it is it low vibration? It might be something you, be something you want to do. It, it's it's come on this Friday night. It takes the place of Ready to Love. Ready to Love. Uh, just end it. Um, and so I did a review on that, so you can check that out as well. And I guarantee you, me and Jack are still together. Some people have been asking, she'll be back. <laughs> she'll be back. She just haven't had time to watch some of the shows. Um, but and I'm not going rogue. We're 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 still here. So <laughs> we're still here. We ain't going nowhere. So appreciate you guys. Appreciate everyone for rocking with us. Thank y'all. And um y'all have a great night. Peace. Peace. You said